about not being good enough. I think it's the thing that most people struggle with most of all that has a very big effect on people's life. And there's three different things I want to say about this. First of all, you might be attached to something that happened in the past. You have to be sure of that. Is it coming from now? Is this your experience in this moment to not be good enough? Or are you thinking about the past? Second one is, who is saying this to you? Is it you? Or is it the voice of somebody else? It has to be you and it has to be now. Because then we come to the third point. And that is, and this might be a little bit shocking, I'm not good enough. That's true. And then people often say to me, what do you mean? Because they expected I would say, yes, you are. No, you're not. It's the logic response of the ego of not being present in your body and into your life. When the soul is somewhere else, when the consciousness is low and the energy is low, then the ego will come up and want to defend your life. It's not very effective in that. It's like the orange light that starts to shine in your car, to blink. And then you criticize the light. No, there is something wrong. And that means you're not present in your life. There's all kind of aspe- all aspects, potential of you, that you have put in boxes in a corner somewhere. If you're not good enough, it means that your ego tells you you're not present in your life. The full potential that you have is not gathered in one state of shining presence that you naturally are. 